Um, oh my goodness, the sheepdog. The sheepdog. Look how much she sold this sheepdog for. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am going to talk to you about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. I'm going to tell you where my members got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are featured members, which means they have joined memberships to be featured in this video. If you would like to join memberships, there is a button that says join right here. And if you don't see it, there's a link down in the description. Level two gets you in this video. All right, we are going to start with some big money bolos. Now, if it's not big money, that means it's unexpected, but something you should still be looking for. All right, let's start with the first item here. And this comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty. And I love that name. That is such a fun channel name or uh, not channel name, eBay store name. And if you want to save her as a seller, she will be linked down below. And you just go up and you click that little heart and that will save them. And that will make you one of their followers. And when you follow them, you will get like updates when they post new items. If they create a coupon, you might get a notification. And her store is awesome. Look at all this amazing Christmas stuff. Ooh, painted ponies. That's a bolo right there. I've never seen a Santa pony. That is so cool. So anyway, she's got lots of great Christmas items. If you guys are looking for these cool things, her uh, link will be down below. Definitely uh, check her out. All right, let's see what she sold. She sold this rare Octagon Buffalo official Art Ross Tyler Converse National Hockey League puck. It's a hockey puck. At first, I'm like, is that a record? And then I'm like, that's not a record. That's a hockey puck. <laughs> but doesn't it kind of look like it from the top? Okay, maybe not. But anyway, she got this at um, an estate sale. It was in a box lot. She paid $5 for the entire box. And she sold this one item for $55 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage sign language Christmas reef brooch. So anytime um, it's in a circle shape, um, a good key word for a brooch is reef. So definitely keep that in mind. This is gold plated. She got this um, at a YouTube auction for $4 and she sold it for $50 free shipping. The next item she said, let's see, is this the one? No. No. Okay, she got these at an online estate. They were in a closet. Okay, so it was one of those online estates where you can't really see what you're buying. And I guess this was like on the top shelf in the closet. So she didn't know what was in the box. And she paid $15 for the whole closet. And this sold for... It says $120. I think she might have had this up for auction and somebody sent her an off. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She got the whole closet for 15. Yeah, and sold this for 120. That's what I'm reading here. I might have it mixed up with the other one. Eek. Did I mix them up? Because I'm showing the next one sold for 95. Let's keep looking here. But either way, it's a bolo. It either sold for 95 or 120. It's Karen, Didion, Elves, and Santa's Helpers. Look how cute they are. Look at their little faces. Oh my goodness, they're cute. All right. Um, the next one is this Royal Dalton Santa's World Travelers. Okay, I mixed them up. I wrote it on the wrong line. So this one was from the online estate up in the closet and it sold for 120. All right. And this is Santa World Travels Limited Edition and it's numbered on the bottom. You can see right here. So 120 and this was in the closet for $15. This one right here, I apologize, you guys. She got it in a state sale and paid $50 for it and sold it for 95. So she said she kind of paid up for this one, maybe overpaid a little bit, but still 50 into 95 is a great profit. Not losing money, that's for sure. All right, a rural squirrel. Oh my goodness. She has the biggest personality. She is incredible. She goes to the Goodwill Bend. She takes you with her and she does all kinds of challenges. So go and sub her up. Like right here, this picture of her, 
this is her. This is her all the time in all her videos. Like happy, 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 always happy. You guys are going to love her channel. Go and subscribe to her if you want some happiness in your life. All right. And she's a Bolo finder. So she found this in the Goodwill bins. It is a Helly Hansen hooded insulated um, jacket. It's a puffer coat. And she got this one at the bins and took a best offer of $60 on this plus shipping. The next item is this vintage UNC cheerleader outfit. She said whenever she sees cheerleader outfits, she picks them up because they always sell for her. And she got this at the Goodwill bins also for $39.99 plus shipping. I would say that's her main place that she sources. Um, I don't hear her talk about a lot of other sourcing places. I know she went to a garage sale in one of her videos and she just seemed a little bit out of her element, if I'm being honest, like the Goodwill bins is totally her thing. So um, the Rebel reseller sent her a plush because I believe she won one of the challenges and we all had to send her a gift and the Rebel reseller sent her a Puffalump. So that is how Kristen knew that Puffalumps were a bolo. And she found this one in the Goodwill bins for um, Ben's price. So she's probably got like 50 cents in this, if, if not less, these weigh like nothing. But Puffalumps are definitely a bolo. This one is not in great condition and it's still sold for $29.99 plus shipping. But I just love that she learned about it from another reseller. And you guys, by watching YouTube videos, put them on while you work and just listen. If you can't watch, just listen because you're going to hear things and then you can take a peek and look over and be like, oh, and then you'll know to look for it. Or you'll remember brands and you'll remember more than you think. Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Okay, one of the items I'm going to talk about is a Mr. Christmas item that she parted out. And she has a whole video on it. You guys can go check it out. She has a fantastic YouTube channel that is just jam-packed with Bolo information. So definitely check her out. But this is the item I'm talking about. So you guys know that I like to part things out. And I part out a lot of toys. But uh, this is a... Mr. Christmas item. And if you don't know, Mr. Christmas in general is a bolo item, but this is a replacement part. It's a repair. It's just one of the soldiers. And she sold him for $12.79 plus shipping. So that's one thing you can part out is Christmas items. This is Shark Sonic Duo Hard Floor Carpet Cleaner Solution Bottle Reusable Set of Two Pads. And she said this is discontinued harder to find item. And she got it for a dollar and sold it for $84.99 plus shipping. That's another thing I like about the things that Noelle sells is she thinks outside of the box and you're definitely going to learn things. Um, I feel like I'm always learning something new when I watch her channel and see her what solds. Uh, go over to her Instagram because she does a lot of um, just like screenshots with little uh, information of what sold over there on Instagram and it's super educational and I really, really enjoy her Instagram posts. They've got to take forever to make, but she does a great job on them. Oh my goodness. The sheep dog, the sheep dog. Look how much she sold this sheep dog for. It's incredible. It is a fine toy company, extra large sitting old English sheep dog. If you guys don't know when you find realistic plush, they sell and a lot of them sell for big money, especially like when they really look like the dog and they're big like this. This is an incredible find. She got this at an estate sale for $5 and sold it for $239.99. But not only did she find this one, she also found this little guy. And the same person bought both of them. And I, if I remember correctly, it was an international sale. Yes, it went to Canada. This one came from a totally different sale. She paid a dollar for it. It was an estate sale and this one sold for $67.99. So again, with the ruler, you've got your measurements and you got a picture of the tag. All of these things are really, really important. This is a vintage item also. So $67.99 plus shipping. So these both went mama and baby probably, right? To someone in Canada. Love it. I love plush bolos. Toledo Antique. Okay. Um, they are big money bolo finders, but they are more into vintage antique glass. You guys want to see some shipping of like huge lots of glass? 
they are not afraid to take a hundred piece lot and ship it. And they have videos on their channel that show you how they do that. Um, just incredible. I like, I have no patience for shipping um, big, large lots of glassware and they do it all the time and they make big money doing it. This is a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air diecast car. And they got this at a local auction for $5 and took a best offer of $70 on this. Right here is an example of one of the things that they sell, but I'm telling you 50 to 100 pieces in one set they will sell. And go check out their, their videos on how to ship. They've got quite a few of them. Espresso cups, $12. They paid for these at an estate sale and sold these for $99.99 plus shipping. And these are great, like, Christmas colors, right? Uh, I'm not going to attempt that uh, title. I'm just going to show you what the bottom looks like. And they do have the Japan sticker on them. So that is the little branding or the logo that you would be looking for. The next item they sold is this antique forged steel alligator wrench, Detroit and Mackinac Railroad Tool. Uh, $5 on this and sold it for $44.99. And they picked that up at an estate sale. The next item comes from Dolo Deals. And this is her store. Again, all stores and YouTube channels will be linked down below. And she sold this vintage 100% Angora white sweater. And she got this for $10 at a garage sale and took a best offer of $125 on this. And you can see here are her measurements. But not only did she sell one, but she sold two. And I think these both came from the same sale. $10 for this one as well. This one sold on auction for $129.48 plus shipping. 1987 Ventures Tracy. All right, you guys, she's not doing a whole lot on YouTube right now. Go over to her Instagram and follow her over there and stay tuned for when she comes back to YouTube. Definitely subscribe to her because she'll be back. Um, and I'm going to show you what she sold because she's a bolo finder. She bought out a, a huge toy haul and she got the most amazing stuff. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you've seen some of the other toys she picked up in this lot just incredible but she is 1987 ventures over on mercari also this is a 1999 kiss limited first edition destroyer lava lamp if you guys do not know anything kiss brand definitely look it up a lot of times they are big money uh, she got this for a buck or two and sold it for 150 plus shipping on mercari if you guys are not selling on Mercari, I do have a link down in the description. It's my referral link. And if you use that link, you're going to get $10 to spend when you sign up. And then once you sell $100 on the platform, they give you another $20 to spend. So that's 30 bucks just for uh, signing up for Mercari with that link. So definitely check that out down below. And let's see what else she sold. She sold this signed The Best and the Brightest by David Haberstrom. Stom. 1972 first edition, all right? Fill a bag at the library for a buck. Fill a bag for a buck. Huh. $82.15 she sold this for. So I'm guessing if she filled a bag, she's got pennies in this. This is a triple ceramic electric light up evergreen Christmas tree. And she's like, I don't want to ship this. She was really nervous about it. Um, I think she said that it was dusty and dirty and was missing um, lights and she had to like clean it up and make it all pretty. But how incredible is this? If you guys don't know, these vintage ceramic lights are definitely a bolo. I've never seen a three piece like this. She got it at a yard sale for $2 and sold it for 116 plus shipping. The next item comes from the Funky Pickle Thrifter, another amazing YouTube channel. I'm telling you what, she is like so put together and her videos flow. She is like a natural YouTuber. I mean, just go watch one of her videos and you will see what I mean. What I mean. She is just incredible to watch. Like she doesn't fumble over her words like me. She can pronounce things. And she is a big money bolo finder who specializes in jewelry, but also knows her vintage. So sub her up for sure. This is a Coro craft brooch, sterling silver violin. It's from 1947. 
And she got this at a pawn shop for $10 and sold it for $299.99. And this is what the back looks like. So you can see the little branding right there. This one right here is a signed Coro Craft. Um, it's a duet fur clip, all right? So the lovebirds, but this comes apart. Isn't that neat? So she said she got this at a thrift store for $1.50. I mean, who finds stuff at a thrift store for $1.50 and sells it for $250? She does. Check her out. I'm telling you, she's a bolo finder. Incredible. This one right here, she said it was so cool she had to keep it for a while. It is pretty cool. Look at this light. Um, it is a Jester Glass Globe Lamp Art Deco Mod Light. Again, great keywords. She got this at an auction for $70 and sold it for $249.99 plus shipping. The next item comes from the Trading Post Pickers, and they are a new member. So most of you that are regulars that follow every channel I talk about, Go sub to them because you're not sub to them yet. Uh, they are a um, a team, a husband and wife team, and they put out videos on reseller content, and you should definitely go and check out their channel. Let's see what they found. First off is incredible. It's this 1980s vintage Star Wars Yoda with the brown snake, and it's 100% complete. So a lot of times these action figures are not complete. So what I like that they did is they took everything off of him and their pictures are fantastic. They showed everything. I mean, look how good these pictures are. So that is really, really important if you want to get top dollar for your item. So great tip from the trading post pickers there. They got this uh, at a garage sale and a lot of, it was just a big lot of Star Wars stuff. And they sold this for $223 on best offer. And they said they did sell it cheaper than others for the quick sale. This is a rare Disney limited edition Little Mermaid watch. And they got this at a yard sale for $10, sold it for a best offer of $133, said they had no idea how valuable it was when they picked it up. And nice little find right there. So definitely be on the lookout. These are red Converse. These are the tall knee-high shoes. And these came from a garage sale for 10 bucks and they sold these for $135 plus shipping. Yeah, these are definitely a bolo. I've seen them in black that have sold for big money, never seen the red. So um, I guess it doesn't matter what color they are. The Chuck Taylor tall knee-high shoes, pick them up. This one kind of caught me off guard. Um, I did do a video on candles that sell for big money. I did that over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. If you guys are not following me over there, definitely check it out. I did a Bolo category on candles and there was a candle that was like burnt and sold for big money. So retired discontinued candles can go for a lot of money. This one is party light. It's a three wick candle. Most party light is bread and butter, they said. But these three wick candles are retired and they sold for $76.50 each. And these came from uh, a cousin's estate. Leo's Treasures. All right. We've got lots of cool items here. Fun stuff. It totally looks like it could be my store. I love everything in this store. Totally things I would pick up. I've actually sold these Tickle Tickle Wiggle guys before. It's a fun little pickup. So she will be linked down below. And she sold these Louisville Stoneware 1985 Kentucky Soup Mugs. And she got these at the Goodwill for a dollar and sold them for $54.75 plus shipping. The next item is this Jim Shore Folk Art Santa Claus signed JS90. It's from 1990. It's hard to find. Show you the foot there. And there he is. It's what he looks like, you guys. She got this at a thrift store for $1 and sold it for a best offer of $70 plus shipping. The next item is one of my favorites. And I featured something similar in a Facebook video, but this one's different. It has the baby formula also, but look at this little spoon with the food in it. Oh my goodness, I can't handle the cuteness. Look, it goes in to, oh, I just love it. I just love it. 
You can see right here, it's 1991 Kenner products. I would have been all over this, picked it up in a second. And um, yes, I get excited about like replacement food, food and uh, bottles and toys for uh, vintage toys. I just love it because they sell, they sell. She got this for 25 cents in a toy lot, took a best offer of $30 plus shipping. And if it would have been me, I probably would have had that bad boy listed at 80 bucks or best offer just because I'm ridiculous. And I think it's so cool. And I'm guessing it's probably a harder to find item. All right. It's all goods. 94. Um, she is over on whatnot. So uh, she's on eBay. She's on whatnot. Definitely check her out on whatnot. I do have a link down below and you guys can follow me on whatnot. When you use that link, you can get $10 to shop. So uh, join with that link down below and then follow Bolo Buddies and go over and find and follow um, It's All Goods 94 and Franklin Hill Ventures is also over there. Lots of people over there selling and doing a fantastic job. All right, let's see what she sold here. She sold this Star Wars Bo Boba, Boba, Baba, Fett, Bowling Ball. I don't know what that means. Who, who's Boba Baba? I'm sure if you guys watch Star Wars, you're looking at me like, how does she not know how to say that? I don't, I don't watch Star Wars. So I don't know what it, I don't know how to say it. Boba. Anyway, three bucks. She got this for $3 at the Goodwill and took a best offer of $75 plus shipping. The next item, she said she was so nervous to ship. It's a motion image lamp moving waterfall picture. Oh my gosh, I bet this was just stunning. Check it out. How cool is that? All right, she got this at the garage sale, at the garage sale, at a garage sale for $10 and sold it best offer of 100 plus shipping. The next item here is this Bath and Body Works Christmas Holiday Village, and it's a candle holder. And anything Bath and Body, I always look up. It's kind of one of those things where if it's retired, some of the things do really, really well. And this sold for $77, and she picked it up at a Savers for 7 bucks. The next item comes from Your Relocation Station, and we're just going to kind of take a peek at their store. Lots of variety, a lot of bread and butter. If you guys are looking to shop, definitely check it out. And let's see what they sold. This is an emerald eight inch skillet. And um, sorry, a dollar, paid a dollar for this, sold it for $31.40. She said it was super long tail. And I'm going to tell you guys a little story. We're going to have story time here in a minute after I show you these three items, okay? The next item is this dandy 25 inch fur friend puppy dog stuffed animal. Thrift store, $1, sold it for $22 plus shipping. And the last item is this, the Great American 5-Cent Nut Machine Dispenser, Beer Nuts, Peanuts, m and and, and it's vintage. And this one she got for $5, but I don't know where she got it. And she sold it for $49.88. All three of these items took two and a half years to sell. But here's the funny part, you guys. All three of these items recently sold in the same time frame. So it's like you or not YouTube, eBay, the algorithm somehow must have picked up these items and started to put them back in the search. And once eBay did that, the items sold. So it makes you wonder like, are our items hidden after a certain time frame? Is it important to, after your item has been listed so long, to go in and hit sell similar or relist? Let me know in the comments if you guys have played around with that, if you've had good luck with that. I know that I really need to do that um, because I'm really bad at just listing and forgetting. And I think I need to go in and just, even if I did 20 a day where I ended them, and relisted them. It's not that hard. Like I'm probably not going to like change things. I'm just going to end and then hit sell similar. But I should do that. I should do that and let you guys know. But if you guys know, if you've been doing that, I think the Rebel reseller has been doing that and having some success. So let me know in the comments if you guys are doing that and if it's helping your store. Any trip, 
tricks or tips you guys may have to help others, put those down in the comments. So everybody go read the comments, see what everybody has to say. And while you're down there, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.